electric SUVs and now even electric pickup trucks are coming to market but not too many people thought about what's going to happen to the precious range when you decide to tow a trailer well be prepared for it to be cut in almost half until now Welcome to E4 Electric, the only channel that's dedicated to both electric cars and fashionable man's jewelry. That matches my soul. If you are interested in either, go ahead and click on the matching subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. Like the upcoming monthly appearance by Sandy Monroe with yet another awesome conversation and my review of the Super Cruise behind the wheel of the new Chevy Bolt EUV. In the next couple of years, electric trucks for off-roading, camping, overlanding and so many other awesome things are coming to the market like the Rivian trucks, the Cybertruck, the Hummer EV, the Ford F-150, Lordstown Endurance and so many other electric trucks are actually going to be on the roads in the next year or so. And a lot of these trucks will have some really impressive range, three, four, five hundred miles, but a lot of it is going to go to waste once you will hook up a trailer to one and a lot of people buy trucks specifically so they can haul a trailer behind it. And by the time you will get to your favorite nature spot, the fast charging stations will be as far away as bathrooms with running water. And while the automakers have been busy designing the aerodynamic EVs and wheels, not too many of them have thought about designing an EV-friendly trailer. And hooking up one of those boxy trailers to your electric car is essentially like cutting your battery in half. Enter the hero of this video, a teardrop trailer, the Polydrops P17A. It was designed here in California by its founder and CEO, K. Liu. Now, it was designed way before the Cybertruck was unveiled, so... Elon? Have you been cheating off of the student in front of you? Now, this edgy design was specifically created for the electric vehicle towing, and I'll tell you about it in just a second, but I just love this story about how this company got started. Now, Kay couldn't find a trailer for him and his wife with proper insulation so it could stay cool or warm during the camping night, so he designed one himself as part of his college thesis project. Kind of reminds me like a story of how Google got started. Now, I wish I had a cool story like that because I started on YouTube by filming myself being ignored by a cute girl at the grocery store. Yes, you are looking at my very first video that I have published on YouTube almost 10 years ago. Yeah, now you know why I needed the hair transplants. All right, back to the Polydrop story now. The cool thing about it is that it never meant to be a business. People just kept asking him to make one for themselves. And when he bought his very first electric car, the Tesla Model 3, he redesigned it to be EV friendly to preserve the range once he realized that that was a problem. So let's look at its features and little luxuries that it has. But before that, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Bosley. The earlier you take actions when you start losing your hair, the more options you will have. I just went through with one myself. Find out about yours and get a discount at bossly.com slash e or use a link down below. And by newer charge, yes, now you can charge two cars at the same time without spending a ton of money on rewiring your home. Get one today and use the discount code in the description of this video. And the money we will earn from the sponsors in this video will go straight to replacing our GoPro that lasted only about 10 minutes on the roof of that Model 3. All right, let's talk about the trailer. It is about 14 feet in length, about 1200 pounds. It has an aluminum frame and of course a bed with a full-size mattress. It's got the controls above your head, the LED lighting, the sound system and even a little kitchen with a sink, a water tank, a small stove and even a little fridge. Now Gordon Ramsay may not be crazy about it, but you know, you can still cook some mean meals with it. It's got a closet for all of your E4 electric t-shirts and a cool shoe holder. Look, you can just kind of kick your foot right in it. The foot will come out, but the shoe will get stuck in there by design. It's got a good amount of storage space and look, an air conditioning and a heater. Now you don't have to actually spend that much energy on those because of the insulation. The trailer stays pretty cool or warm for long periods of time. I gotta say, this trailer has more stuff than my very first apartment and my very first car 
combined. And everything is accessible from the inside and not just the outside. You can literally wash your feet while laying in bed. Now it's got more battery options than most electric cars, including Tesla. It's got three, 2.4, 4.8 or 12 kilowatt hour battery. And just like with most electric vehicles, it is located at the bottom of the trailer. And I will let T tell you about the battery supplier, something that I don't think he's ever mentioned publicly. We are using um, the Bellborn. We are partner. We have. We do have the. Uh, we, we are working with the uh, uh, Bellborn batteries, and that they are the, one of the best battery company in the United States. Theirs are really great. Um, a little heavy, but that's not a big deal. You also have two options for the roof solar panel array: 260 or 520 watt setup. But the main feature of the trailer is, of course, that it has been designed not to rob you of the electric car range as much as the standard trailers do. The Polydrops trailer will actually save you up to 25% of your electric range, and I will let Kay explain how he's got it done. So um, there's two different, like, two methods we solved the, uh, the issue. Is that the first one was the uh, huge... It's not a tongue box, it's like a cover on the front of the trailer, which fills the uh, towing vehicle, like a uh, gap between the towing vehicle and the trailer. So it minimizes the, uh, the vacuum created between them. That actually affects a lot when you're towing a trailer. And um, another thing is that, um, so a lot of people actually didn't, usually don't think about that, because the about the undercarriage of the trailer. So usually trailers has like a huge uh, beams underneath it. Like they have like ribs and uh, those create a lot of air drag. And um, we put the uh, flat bottom on the trailer and um, yeah, it, it solved a lot. It, it, it really helped a lot. It's got three doors, which is actually one more than my house, but the back door, well, I think it needs a bit of a redesign. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I w okay, I'll stop now. Polydrops claims that you can go on your mini vacation for up to six days without having to recharge the trailer. I will let Kay explain how you can get one for yourself. Uh, they, they can actually purchase the trailer uh, from our website. They can just go to the polydrops.com and uh, they can purchase from there. It's just exactly like how you buy a Tesla. So when they just click it, and um, we're going to prepare the trailer. And once it's done, we're just going to ship it out or they can pick up the trailer. It starts at around $25,000 and the upgrade to the biggest 12 kilowatt hour battery is about $8,000 and then solar panels, Bluetooth speakers and the kitchen are all extras. Now, once you are done ordering this trailer, you will probably be wondering, uh, what the hell am I going to watch next? Well, how about one of my awesome conversations with Sandy Monroe about hydrogen fuel cell vehicles? Will he agree with Elon Musk or Bill Gates? Well, I put the link to that video in the description of this one. Other than that, I will see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.